This video presentation covers sound within an enclosed space by Anson, Lillian, and Steve. When a sound is emitted in a room, it produces a direct sound and an indirect sound. The direct sound is the sound that reaches the listener first. It provides information about a sound's origin, size, and tonal quality. The indirect sound is the sound that reaches the listener later, after reflecting from various surfaces. It's divided into early reflections, or early sound, and reverberation, or reverberant sound. Taking a closer look at these two, early reflections is the sound bouncing off of the first surface. It adds loudness and fullness to the initial sound, and gives a sense of room size. It is also known as pre-delay. Reverberation, on the other hand, is the buildup of early reflections that result in densely spaced reflections. It creates acoustical spaciousness and a sense of distance from the source. It is reverb that contains much of the sound's total energy. Here's a demonstration. This is an enclosed space with a sound source and a listener inside. The white dot represents the sound source and the black dot represents the listener. As we learned earlier, sound is omnidirectional. When a sound is emitted in a room, it travels in all directions. The first sound that reaches the listener is the direct sound. The rest of the sounds traveling in all the other directions gets reflected back by the first surface to the listener. These are the first reflections. Once reflected, it travels through the room and gets reflected by the other surfaces as well. These are known as later reflections. As these reflections continue to travel and reflect, they become smaller and smaller and the time between them decrease until they combine, making the reflections indistinguishable. Here you can see the reflections becoming smaller and smaller. The time it takes the sound to decrease 60 decibels SPL after its steady state sound level has stopped is reverberation time or decay time. Now you know the anatomy of reverberation in an enclosed space. Echo is a term often used synonymously with reverberation, but that's incorrect. Remember, reverberation is densely spaced reflections created by random multiple blended repetitions of a sound. It is indistinguishable. Echo is sound delayed by 30 milliseconds or more. It is a distinct repeat of the direct sound. The further the listener is from the sound source, the more reverberant sound. The closer, the more direct.